Well, we're at Minot's one and only Starbucks, and I decided that this week, instead of going and looking for an apartment, which I was going to do last week, but I found a new place, and so there you go. So instead, we're going to go and visit the gallery, and I'm also going to show you some of the secrets about putting together an ambient video and, uh, and some music. So let's go. Kind of bunch it up and put it on as a blindfold would go. Shooting video in blacklight is always fun. Blacklight never goes out of style. For me, it conjures up the feeling I had as a kid playing games in the dark. Both the ones my parents knew about and the ones they only kind of suspected. This shoot is going to be part of a video called Nothing But Sky. It was inspired by the line, No Hell Below Us, Above Us Only Sky, from Imagine by John Lennon. Well, this is my home studio. This is where it all happened. I do my pop music in here, I do my electronic ambient music in here, I do um, some demos in here for my pop music, and I also do some final tracking in here as well. I've got my uh, guitar just over here, handy, so I can uh, use it for electronic or pop music or whatever. I've got um, my congas are over there that you can't see, I've got a microphone over there that you can't see, but uh, there you go. Uh, behind me, I've got the outboard equipment for my keyboards, which is all MIDI together and I can play them. Um, here is an old uh, mixer that still works. I've had it for about 15, 20 years maybe, but it still works. Um, I got my V amp here, which is uh, an amp for my guitar, so I don't have to use a big Marshall stack or anything else like that in here. And it still sounds pretty loud. It just goes right into the computer, so you don't have to even worry about your neighbors hearing you. Um, on the computer, I have um, right now Adobe Edition is up, which is a multi track program. But I also have on there um, Propellerhead Reason, which is a synth program, a multi-track synth program for keyboards. It has uh, samplers on it and that type of thing. And over here that you can't see, it's off, off screen, is an old reel-to-reel -reel multi-track I still have uh, because, hey, it's there. You know, there you are. So that's my studio. Well, this is part two of putting together an ambient video, the actual video itself. I have permission to use the Avid here at work, which is probably one of the reasons why they turn out so crisp and clean and perfect. And also the fact that I personally am so brilliant. Brent, you're so funny. The Avid is a sophisticated piece of gear. It's far more powerful than the editor I use here at home to produce this video blog. Things in the Avid can happen as quickly as you can think them up. Along with the Avid, I use Boris effects to produce 3D graphics and special effects. It too is in a multi-track format, so you can pile up the effects as much as you want. Well that in a nutshell is how I put together an ambient video, or any video or commercial for that matter. In the next upcoming video blogs, I'll be able to show you the finished product when it premieres at 62 Doors Gallery. Well, so much for all that hard work editing and doing all that audio. Let's go over to the Taube and see what's going on over there. This time, the Taube has a show of self-portraits that was put on by the North Dakota Museum of Art. It has some great pieces. I even know some of the artists personally. But I won't name drop, unless I need a free lunch or something. Anyway, let's just wander around and take in the art. Well that's about it for this week's video blog. I hope you enjoyed it. I probably won't be back for a while since I've got to start moving into my new apartment. So the next time you see me, I'll be in a new place. We'll see you then.